for a fun way to learn about physics, then we have just the thing. Clayton Clark is live at Fresno State, raising his IQ with the physics department. Good morning, Clayton, although I think he could teach him a thing or two. <laughs> I'm trying, uh, Kim and Kopi. We're with the Fresno State Physics Department. They have a group that goes around to schools in the Valley, elementary, high school, and teaches them physics in a very fun and interesting way, a very hands-on uh, things that you read in the books. They show you it right in your face. So we're getting some fun physics in your face this morning. We've got Matt here who has got a blowtorch, so I'm obviously already interested. <laughs> yeah, so I have a uh, ball and a ring, and right now the ball in the ring does not go through. So what material are those made out of? Uh, this is uh, just pure metal. Okay, just, pure metal ball, pure metal ring, they don't fit. Yeah, exactly. And so for, I need to make this go through, obviously. Obviously that's what my experiment is. And so to expand something, you have to heat it up. So obviously I'd want to expand this, right? All right, so heat is gonna make that steel ring bigger. Exactly. All right. Or expand, whoops. It's the moment we've been waiting for. Fire. Oops. There we go. Right. How hot is that right now? 200 degrees Celsius. So, 2000, excuse me. <laughs> Man. So really hot. Yep. Very, very hot. So, All right, work. so now the ball should go through the metal. And it does. All right, so there you have it. Heat does expand even metal. Very cool. Now, feats of strength time. I was told I was going to put my muscle to the test to Brenda here, so what do I do? You're gonna hold this. Okay, how do I hold it? Just like that. Just like this, okay. okay. Earlier we showed you um, torque when you were on the balance beam. Yeah. This is another way to show torque. Okay. And basically, you're gonna try to hold this up. Hold the weight up, got it. And you can see, when it's closer to you, Piece it's not that hard, right? Piece of cake. So now, let's move it out a little bit. Piece of cake. Okay. Piece Still piece of cake? Piece of cake, yep. So the farther away, the heavier, how does that work? So how it works is when you're holding onto this, it's your rotation of axis, and you have a lever arm. Your lever arm is right here, and you also have a lever arm here. The farther it gets, the longer that lever arm is, and the smaller yours is. So that's why it falls, and you're not able to hold it up. So the same weight, but because of lever arms, it gets more difficult right. the farther away it gets. Very interesting. So these are fun physics things we're learning today, and you can have these guys come to your students' class. All you have to do is give Nancy a call here, and she gave me her business card, luckily. So call her at 278-6652. Uh, that way she can get hooked up with your classroom and bring this group out here to show you fun ways to learn physics. Team and Kopi. Okay, thank you. You know, I was thinking about the, the, the ring. I thought the ring would expand equidistantly on the outside and inside. Mm. And, and it doesn't. And it doesn't. Mm. So, so there, Co. Physics is so cool. Yeah, that was awesome. Hey, great day returns in a moment, but first, let's celebrate some great day birthdays.